This right here is the Void Waker, one of the strongest PvP weapons in Old School RuneScape. The weapon can be created entirely inside of the wilderness, and that is why I decided to make a new level 3, lock it into the wilderness, and not look back until I've created one of my own completely from scratch. My account is a Bronze Man, which is a mix of an Iron Man and normal account. If I get an item once, I can buy it as much as I want from the Grand Exchange, so I will be able to access that area as well. I can both kill NPCs or PK players for upgrades, as long as I've looted an item and once it's open for purchase. So let's get started. In the last video, we started off by killing some Revenant Goblins with the goal of unlocking Blighted Manta Rays and Blighted Super Restores. After that, we completed Mage Arena 1 for the Flames of Samurak spell and the Magic Arena Cape 1 for PKing purposes. And finally, after a lot of hunting at different areas, we finally found the person and got the kill that would give us the Amulet of Glory unlock. This episode requires no long introduction, this is going to be a combat training all through Slayer episode, we're going to be seeing how far I can get my combat stats in this video. Just the first task, because I have Hellhounds from the last video, I'm just going to be completing this with magic, but for the future tasks I will do my best to try and get ranged or melee training in. Oh no way, no way, so early into the video, I will put the drop rate of that on the screen right now, look how rare that is, 750k, okay I need to go and bank, but oh my god that is a good drop to get early. You know what this is right here, that is around 4000 death runes to train magic with. Oh my goodness, the first Larence key of the account. I'm going to save up all of these in this video as I'm going to be doing a lot of Wilderness Slayer. It's going to be super interesting to see how many I can collect and then open at the end of the video. And I'm going to be risking all of them in one run. So if I die, that's going to be tragic. Oh, oh, it's looking good. Already a second Larence key, not that deep into this task. If it keeps this luck up, we're going to be opening a lot of them at the end. But let's go ahead and pick up the first new task of this video. I would love to get any task that gives me an excuse to train melee or ranged, so let's see what the first task is going to be. 97 lesser demons. Ooh, that's a safe spot of a task, so I guess we're going to try and train some ranged. Now, before we get into ranged training, I only have bronze arrows right now, but the hill giant in the deep wilderness cave has a good chance of dropping iron arrows, which should speed up the process quite a lot on the lower level, so let's go ahead and get them. And there they are, my new best arrows on the account to train range with. Iron arrows has now been unlocked. I do not allow you to laugh. This is my setup. You know, I do have a feeling that I will not be able to kill a lesser demon at my current range level at like 1 or 2 with a short bow and iron arrows, but I'm going to give it a try. If not, I'm going to have to come back to Slayer a bit later in the video, after I've trained up my combat stats a bit. Reporting back after like one and a half minutes since the last clip and we've gained 48 experience and the monster has lost 0 HP. So yeah, that's not happening. Instead, I've headed over to the Revenant Caves and I'm going to be training my ranged on the Revenant Imps. They are actually pretty good target dummies to train on because they have low defense, so I can actually hit them with low level. And on top of that, they heal themselves, so I can actually just kind of go AFK, and right there, they're healed, and it's full HP again. First ranged milestone, 10 ranged has been achieved with the short bow and iron arrows, definitely took a while. 20 ranged. Oh. My. God. I had no idea this plugin had this feature. If you go to Collection Log on Bronze Man, you see how many unlocks you have and every single item unlocked. That is insane. That's actually so useful. You can just search and see what items you have unlocked. It has actually been a very long time. The short bow and the iron arrows are very bad, but that is now finally 40 ranged achieved. And it is now time to head over to Lava Dragons try to get rune knives unlocked at a 1 in 32 drop rate, and then train ranged at a way faster pace. So a bit of post commentary before I get into live commentary, but uh, I went to Lava Dragons to try to get rune darts unlocked because they have a decent chance of dropping them to level my range from 40 all the way to whatever level I wanted. Uh, this guy attacked me the second I got here, and he had three keys on him, he was scald, and he had terrible damage. So I was like, you know what, I might as well try to attack him and see if I can kill him because I have full inventory of food and pretty decent magic level. This guy's definitely trying to escape. I don't even know like how much food he has because he has three keys. I'm wondering if he's been here for a while killing bots. Is he not eating? I don't think he's eating at all. Is he out of food already? I've only been fighting him for like two minutes at this point. 
What is he risking, even? He's dead. Wait, what is he risking? Ring a well. Magic shortbow! No way! We got a magic shortbow and three keys as well. I wanted rune darts where we have magic shortbow now. That is so huge, actually. Now I need to get 50 ranged. Did he have anything else here that I actually think... I don't even know what else he had. I was just ho so hyped about the magic shortbow. And here we go. That is the magic shortbow unlocked officially. And the mithril arrows as well, which I don't think is going to be very useful. I already have rune arrows. All right, let's see what the keys are like. 44k, 44k, 32k. He was probably just killing... Yeah, he was definitely just killing the bots there. So probably nothing too interesting. You know, I might not have rune knives, but I do have access to rune darts from Lava Dragon's last video. And we're going to be using that, even though it's very expensive, from 40 to 50 ranged. Now that I have the magic shortbow, that is really all that matters to get to 50 ranged. Oh my god, this is so good compared to the shortbow. I just... <laughs> it's such an upgrade, right? From shortbow and, like, iron arrows all the way to rune darts getting consistent hits and XP drops. I made a massive mistake. I honestly didn't think there would be too many low-level PKers in the Revenant Caves, but uh, I just died with 800 rune darts. That's like 200k cash. Hopefully I can get lucky from the Revenant drops and get that back pretty easily. So we're getting really close to 50 ranged, and I just got two rune warhammers. Now, I do have a rune scimitar already, but if I need a crush weapon, this is actually best in slot for me for a long time. Probably until I get the Vigoras Chainmail, so that is a good drop. Oh my god, another massive unlock rune kai shield. My previous best shield was the mithril square shield, so that is quite an upgrade. I just got dragon longsword. I can never use that because you need the lost city completed, but uh, that is a lot of money. And finally, we are getting done with ranged here. 50 ranged incoming if I can get some good hits on the Pyro Fiend in right here. And we will be able to use the best in slot ranged weapon for a long time until we actually get the Crafts Bow. I think maybe the Rune Crossbow in the future might be better for PKing. But that is now the Magic Shortbow unlocked and we can get back to Slayer. Now on top of having the Magic Shortbow, I also unlocked Rune Arrows in the first episode of the series from Fire Giants. And that is now the Magic Shortbow with the Rune Arrows, which is going to be really strong compared to what I had before. Now, there is only one thing we're missing for the range setup, except for armor, of course. That is the Magic Shortbow Scroll, to imbue the Magic Shortbow, giving it some slight accuracy bonuses, and reducing the special attack drain from 55% per use to 50%. And that is dropped by Wilderness Slayer, so hopefully I can get that in this video. Oh, we got a Slayer Enchantment. This is actually the item to upgrade the Slayer Staff, which requires 50 magic and 55 Slayer, to then be a tier 75 magic weapon, but can only be used on Slayer tasks, but that is actually going to be super useful for in the future, if I ever need a high tier magic weapon on Slayer task that is actually very cheap to use, so I'll definitely be keeping that. And that is the Lesser Demon task completed, and actually the first Slayer points of the entire account, which is 25. The Wilderness Slayer luckily gives a lot of Slayer points. Actually didn't record it, but I finished 101 Mammoths that took like 3 hours to complete, and we got Laren's Key, so the next task is going to be Rogues. That's perfect for melee training. Last video from my PK, I unlocked Super Combat Potions 2 dose, and it's time to buy 50 of them, decant them into 4 doses, and actually use that meanwhile doing melee training. It's going to speed up the process by quite a lot. Now the unfortunate case is that I will have to use a steel scimitar all the way to 30 attack so that is the first milestone we need to reach. After that we can use the adamant scimitar that we got from the bandits in the last video so that should speed it up all the way to 40 where we have the rune scimitar waiting. We are officially deep into the melee arc of this video and we can now equip the adamant scimitar. The next milestone of course is at 40 for that beautiful rune scimitar which is going to be our best in slot for a while. We can finally make the last melee weapon upgrade until we get the Vagoras Chain Mace on this account, which is the Rune Scimitar. This will serve me well in the future of the account, and that is now 40 attack achieved. And let's go ahead and equip that Rune Scimitar. Look at the stats. 16 extra melee strength and 16 more accuracy, and it looks better. We just hit 10 Wilderness Slayer tasks, and the amount of points you get from Wilderness Slayer is wild. We're already up to 220 overall Slayer points, which is going to be super good for skipping tasks in the future for Revenants. You know what this save spot reminds me of? It reminds me of like the Pokemon games when there's like one small little tree or bush in the way and you can't pass even though the path is like 10 times the size of that bush. Yeah.
Oh, no way. Another Trover Parchment. I am so lucky. These are so rare, by the way. 800,000 GP, two in one video. Yeah, that's pretty good. There was just an update on RuneScape and they made a massive change for my account. I can now use the special attack orb right here while in the wilderness. Before you could not do that, you had to press right here to be able to use it. But just as I get my magic short bow, I can now so smoothly use it, which is super nice. And that is actually not all. You can now filter your prayers just like you can with magic. So if I remove, for example, all that, I only have the useful prayers that I need right now, which is really insane. I wonder how this is going to impact PKing. An absolutely massive level actually coming in and a few hits here, 82 experience left, 60 ranged. The levels are just flying by now that I have the rune arrows and the magic uh, short bow. But 60 is actually a massive level because this allows me now to use the Crofts bow, which is going to be my best in slot weapon for the wilderness. Except the web weaver bow, which is for 70 right below that. But for that, I need to get really lucky on the wilderness bosses. I started a bronze man because of you lol with my in real life friends. Oh, that is so nice. Good luck to you and shout out to bronze kiddo and the squad man. It took some time, but finally we have the magic shortbow scroll on an Anku task, which I've been at for like three and a half hours. This was absolutely terrible mailing it, but let's go ahead and make the magic shortbow. So right here I have the magic shortbow imbued and the normal one has 69 range accuracy. Meanwhile, the imbued one has... 75 and on top of that as i said earlier the special attack now only drains 50 instead of 55 so this is going to be super useful oh we finally got the revenant task only 59 of them but i've been doing slayer now on and off for like two entire days and we finally got the first one now we're going to be doing this in a spicy way so get ready for it so for this and all future Revenant tasks, I'm going to be killing the Revenant Knights. They have the best drop rates of the item, but they are pretty tough to kill. And pretty much impossible for me to kill at this current point, unless I use this safe spot right here. It is very easy to set up. You just shoot the NPC, run to this tile, and then the second tile. And when it hits you again, you run to the third one. And at this point, you can just pretty much AFK it. Definitely a very slow process, but that is the first kill. It took me like two and a half minutes to get done, but definitely worth it for the greater chance of getting the rare items. If there was actually one item I could choose to get first out of all the rare items from Revenant, it would actually be the Amulet of Avarice, which is one of the more common items of the rare items, and this actually buffs your damage against Revenant by a large margin, notes all your items when you get them, and also keeps you scald at all times. So this is actually such an insanely good quality of life item when killing revenants that it would ease up the entire grind for me. So if I could see that, that would be incredible. Oh, no way. I actually got attacked. That took a while before I actually did get attacked. But yeah, I don't know if I can escape this. Oh, we did land the snare. Maybe this can actually be good enough. If I can run here, it doesn't even say I'm snared. Oh, I can run now. He's still snared, I think. I think I got a gap. I got a gap. I think we're good. I think we actually made it out. Yeah, we did. Let's go. Oh, that's a good drop. Maybe I should actually just bank that. And on top of that, that is not just money. That is a great unlock for the account. When I get to 60 defense, that is going to be probably the best in slot for me to use. And we're down to the last Revenant Knight of the task. The last drop is going to be... Nothing too special, but the loot from this is incredibly good. The amount of money I make from this is really, really useful for the account. Keeping my money up is definitely pretty difficult when I also get pk sometimes, so having this as a money maker is pretty good. We are about to hit one of the last defense levels I'm going to be getting for a long time. 40 defense because this allows me to use all the different Dragonhide armors. And of course, rune armor as well. Which is going to be pretty nice for melee training so I don't have to use prayers like protect from melee and all that stuff. But most importantly, as I mentioned, the black dehyde only requires 40 defense to use. And that is probably going to be my best in slot gear for a lot of wilderness activities. I'm also currently, by the way, just saving up all the points that I basically get, and we're up to 480 after 20 tasks. These Trover parchments just keep dropping, and on top of that, I did get a Genie Agility Lamp, so I might as well use that. But the first one I think I got was like 750k, if I remember correctly in this video, and now they're like 920k. 
Admittedly, I have skipped some tasks, so I did lose some points, but that is now 30 wilderness tasks completed. We're still going strong. There is a guy with full runecrafting outfit level 61 that I keep seeing running past here to the Mage of Samurai doing runecrafting. So I'm going to try and actually root him next time he comes by and try to kill him with my magic short bow. Oh, there he is. Look at this guy, he's runecrafting obviously in the abyss when you go inside of it, you do get sculled automatically, and he has an untrimmed runecrafting cape, so let's see if we can kill him. Dude, I'm hitting so good and he's dead, let's see what he has. He might have something that's good. Oh, he had phoenix necklace, actually a good upgrade. That is really good because when you have this equipped and you get hit to, I think it's like 15 or 10% HP, it actually automatically heals you and consumes the necklace. One of the end goals I've been working on in this video has been 70 ranged and we just hit it. On this ice giant task, which we only have 14 left of, which is actually going to be the last task of this video as well, because this is a milestone task of 40, which I think is a pretty good point to end at with the combat stats that I kind of wanted to reach being achieved. Of course, 70 ranged is the requirement to use Black Dragonhide, which my goal of this series is going to be to have on this account and use for probably all the Wilderness Bosses activities and PKing, and uh, that is now also the task done. 40 Wilderness tasks, 970 overall Slayer points gained in just this video. It is now finally time after all this layer to open the 13 Larence keys that I've accumulated, and yes, I'm going to be risky with it. I'm going to go with all of them in the same inventory, Hopefully I do not get PK'd if I get caught this deep into the wilderness, pretty much anyone can attack me. This location on the map right here is where you open the keys, and that is literally as deep into the wilderness as you can possibly get. People all the way from level 10 to 120 can actually attack me here. But let's go ahead and open them and see what we can get. And we're down to the last three keys for Torstal Seeds. Gold ore, and the last one is coal. Let's have a price check at all of these items. 1.2 million, I do not say no thank you to. Now, before we end this video, I want to give you guys a quick update on the bank value of this account. We currently have 4.77 million GP, with most of it, or around half of it, being in pure cash, and the rest of it being in random miscellaneous items and the blighted super stores. But I am so ready for what we're going to be doing in the next video. We're going to be peaking better gear and get some massive upgrades.